Okay, people, welcome back to Resident Evil. I want to thank you for the love and support. The, the game is going really well. It's actually a breeze for me doing this again and again. I'm playing this game over and over. I'm gonna explain to you this time why I love this game so much. Because uh, actually when it first came out for GameCube, despite having a GameCube, I wasn't able to play. Because it was actually a rare title, it didn't come to my country, it never released. Uh, for those of you that are wondering from which country I'm from, I'm from Greece, and uh, in Greece the, the title was actually pretty rare. And uh, same goes for uh, Resident Evil Zero, uh, so it also didn't come out in time for me. Uh, so I missed these two great levels, I didn't get them. So playing it in the remastered version, version, it was actually... A dream coming true. I've been waiting for this, so excited for this, so much, so much hype for this. You know, this whole time I was waiting for it to play it. Such a great game. Okay, uh, what what do we have to do now? Let's go back to the match and see what awaits us. Heading straight back. Uh, I won't take that. Might need it later. You never know. Okay, these doors opening always. Okay, now you know there's some good stuff here. And you, what you, what I love about this is that there's actually a message. I think it's from Barry or Wesker. Not sure. Depends on which player you play. I think Chris uh, Wesker leaves uh, items for Chris and uh, Barry leaves for Jill. Pretty sure it's that way. Let me see. To protect yourself from a bullet, yeah. This is the door. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's Barry. <laughs> okay. Barry looks after Jill. So that she doesn't become a Jill sandwich, you know. If you have played the original, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> This way. Oh, hunter! Have to be careful around this one. They're very dangerous. Very dangerous. Ah. Oh, damn it! Let's use the defensive items. Okay, I think he's not dead. Is he dead? Ooh, thankfully. Ooh, I wasn't injured. I thought it was, it was a close one. If they grab you, there's not much you can do other than use defensive items. And thankfully, I have many. Okay, I need to be careful here too. Uh. Take that. I think, I think this one is dead. There's another. Here we go. This one has a different color. Come on! Don't claw me! Ooh. Okay then. Hunters guys are very, very tricky enemies. Okay, uh, first thing you have to do here is uh, actually unlock a door. The reason is, I'll explain later, it's to dispose of the key, so you won't have to come back to this door until much later, but use the key anyway here, and then go away. Really, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we have to go uh, downstairs, I think. Need to... Uh, okay, door room has been repaired. That would be... That would be useful. Now we have to go back to the main hall. 
that the second door you need to open is right there, so I'm gonna cut away from here. Taking shortcuts is the key to actually achieve good timing. Uh, if you try to make a, a 3 hour or 5 hour playthrough, it's gonna be really useful. So, especially for Jill, I mean, this is the fastest player according to, to the fact that she has uh, more item slots. Alright then, let's go up here. And back to the main hall then. Anyway, you people, I want to thank you for watching this. Uh, it's an exciting, very beautiful game. Uh, I really recommend you play it. Just forget this walkthrough and go ahead and play it. It's it worth it. Like it's one of the gems uh, of games so you have to to play, not not to watch, if you ask me. But it's up to you, really. Okay, here we go, let's try to lay a headshot here. Yeah! Got you good! Okay. Let's get the dagger and, uh, you know, I know I haven't been injured much, but I'm gonna use a green one just in case. Okay, there's the box. You have to get that box and you'll see why later. Uh, the exit, yeah, that way. Make a circle, because you're an idiot, and then go. I keep getting lost. To the camera angles. Okay, then, um... We should go that way now. This is actually a pretty dangerous way because I have to kill some more hunters. Um, best way to dispose of hunters now, I think. I think I should use this shotgun. Not sure though if I should do that. Well, I try to use the grenade launcher this time. I don't think I have to kill them both. There are two here. Ouch, ow oh, man. I got one. You can hear this? Okay, that went great. If you exceptionally the fact I got you, I got clawing. I got clawed in the face. Okay then. Uh this way. I think I should save the defensive items. Um could use a first aid spray. I could use that. Did I do that? I'll, I have plenty of first aid sprays, don't don't worry about my health. Uh using the mansion key here, but however I need to leave some things behind. And that would be... Probably the herbs. Here we go. Let's go upstairs. Pretty much case it's room you also have to make uh you have to have good timing here. Okay, here we go. So first thing we have to do is get the grenade rounds. Never miss them and load the grenade launcher, try to push that thing. Just like that. Try to center it as much as you can. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. Uh, let's see. 
We also take the dark gear. Why not? I think there's a note here. Hold on. Alright. I need to tell you that whoever wanted to read that and went too fast for them, they can always go back and freeze the video to actually read anything they like. Um, okay now. What I have to do now is uh, go turn off the lights over here. There we go. I should get the, the red one, I think it should get it first. Okay. It's the most basic one to get, so if you try to make a fast playthrough, always go for the red one. Okay, hold on now. Let's try to go from the angle. The only way to avoid the eagle is actually go from right underneath and then grab the gems. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, now I should get the other one too. Same tactic. Hurry up. There we go. Okay, then. I have to combine those two. The red one with the box. And uh, try to solve the small puzzle here. It's pretty simple, but you have to, to be pretty accurate where you line up the, the pieces. Otherwise, it won't work exactly as you want it. So, stick that here. Uh, try to use that one next. It's ready to put up there. Here we go. And uh, yeah, sorry for that. There it goes. Come on, come on. There we go. Should be good now, I think. Like right there. Okay. And the last one. Please fit. Please fit in there. There we go. Great. And we take the brooch, which is actually a key. And it's a key for the for the main rooms, actually, you can see. Um, let's get out of here. Now, as for the other gem. I need to fight off some more hunters. Oh, hold on. That was an accident. There we go. to go through this hole and then the surprise come on ouch ow oh, man the worst enemies in the game guys really not kidding if you're not careful this could happen to you like this I think he's dead. Damn. Just get the hell out of me. Okay, let's get out of here. So now we have to go back to where the tiger was. Ah, go away. Don't grab me. You dirty zombie. Okay. There we go. Now let's use this. For the best ending, you have to do that. If you want to go for a fast playthrough, do not try to get the MO disc. It's gonna, it's gonna stall you. Uh, all the MO discs, that's wherever you see them, try to skip them. Uh, doesn't matter if you get the bad ending, but if you want the good weapons. The best weapons in the game, the secret weapons, just don't do it. Don't get the ammo, the ammo discs. Uh, however, for the best ending, or if you're confident in your ability and timing, you can always make the best ending and get the best weapons together. But, I don't know, it's up to you really. My ability so far hasn't allowed me to get both. Uh, anyway, since I'm down here, I need to store the disc. I'm gonna use it later. Okay, I think I need something else to get, um, 